All right, I'm back for Dusty US's ongoing coverage of Fraga Chicago 2024, and I'm here to sub following their 2-1 uh, loss to now to eliminate them from the tournament. Uh, to start, uh, that was quite a close series, considering the difference in ranking between the two squads and the overall difference in experience. Uh, how do you feel the squad did in their bout against Nouns? I mean, obviously it's tough, you know, not being able to close out the match, but I'm not too ashamed. Nouns is a super strong team in the region, and, you know, we didn't have too much going into this. We were just looking to have fun. And, yeah, we could have closed out the maps, but overall I'm not too ashamed of the result. I think we played well. Uh, with that in mind, I think this is the best performance to date we've seen from this Limitless roster since it formed a few months ago. Uh, in, especially in contrast to the struggles that the team have and it had an ESL Challenger League. Uh, with that in mind, you guys are going to finally be able to use your real roster quite soon. Uh, you know, seeing Wiz and Tender leave to be replaced by Sandman and Cyrix. Uh, does it guys give you hope that you're going to be able to turn your season around in the back half of ECL? Absolutely, yeah. Like you said, we've had to use two subs for the first half of the season. Um, that entire time we've been putting in work with the Rio 5, and I think uh, I think we're going to be able to make a good turnaround this uh, second half of the season. I think we'll be able to put together some wins. So the goal there is obviously to uh, avoid relegation, because uh, uh, to avoid relegation, uh, and that's quite a similar story to what happened with uh, the Carpe Diem squad, who themselves had a quite rough start to the season. Uh, I wanted to pick your brain as someone who had played with Lake before he got that call up to M80. Uh, when you guys were, you know, playing with Lake last season, uh, was it evident that he was going to be sort of the next one up in the NA scene? Oh, for sure. Lake is from the get-go super talented you know um, our original project roster snakes and he was sought out as one of the up-and-coming players and even though he was less known we just knew he had the talent he had the raw mechanics and the mind you know he's super smart in game out of the server great guy so it, there was no doubt he was definitely definitely next up and uh, turning to focus back to ECL, you know, we did mention that you had to play with Wiz and Tender, uh, but for someone like Wiz, who is a very experienced player, you know, who had tenures on Evil Geniuses and a number of other really strong, um, you know, uh, NA, NA squads, uh, what was it like getting a chance to play with him, despite the fact that I do believe he's retiring after this? Was he able to give you guys any, you know, insight or, you know, to help you with fundamentals from his time with Evil Geniuses? Oh, absolutely. Wiz, you know, has a lot of experience. He's played at Tier 1 events now, played with RP RBG and then EG. Gained a lot of experience. He helped us see how to play around him, letting him make his calls as an opper and, you know, seeing big picture. He definitely uh, helped us a lot, you know, and um, I, we owe a lot of credit to him. He, he really taught us so much throughout the time we were playing with him. And now your uh, new opera who's going to be coming into the team, Cyrex, just came back from his trip abroad. Um, you've pre I believe you previously played with him, I think, on Snakes then. Uh, does it seem like he's in a good, good form despite not having played in the last couple of months? Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, I think he maybe had that concern because he was away for a couple of months studying abroad. But uh, we even did some scrims with him when he was uh, playing in Japan with 120 ping. He was still, you know, frying people on the server. Even when he's back, it doesn't even look like he ever left, to be honest. And I'm excited to see him in the server again uh, in officials because I think he's going to just kill it. Now, I do believe there's going to be one more roster change uh, for the squad after uh, this event. Uh, DJF will be standing down. Uh, what's up with him? Why is he you know, taking a break? And do you guys kind of already know who's going to be coming in to fill his shoes? So, DJF, he is uh, very busy. He's been, you know, he, has, he works full time. And while he wanted to commit a lot of time to the season with our circumstances, and obviously he's been putting up more hours at work, it's a little tough for him to be able to commit as many hours. That being said, um, he decided to take the step back, which we all fully respected. And um, as far as a replacement, we can't just now uh, confirm anything, but we are excited to bring on a, a new light into the team. And so with this being your second uh, Fraga Cago land, you guys did quite well in both of them, all things considered. Uh, is there a chance we'll see more of Limitless in the uh, Limitless on land to finish out the year? Certainly, yes. Um, you know, we're just now getting to pull our five together at ECL, and, you know, we're going to get as many reps as we can and officials, whether that be online, and hopefully any land event that we're able to attend, we're going to, you know, make a presence and try to make a deep run like we try to here. All right, so that is Seb from Limitless coming away from the Chicago tournament with a top four finish. Thank you so much for your time, and we'll see you in action in Challenger League.